In this session, guys, we're going to look at the special and the color. So I'm just going to get this surface prepped now. So I'm just going to make sure my line is selected. I'm just going to go down. Here we go. So we're going to go in this tab here. So I'm going to create a color. And as you can see down in the bottom right hand corner, if I just click uh, gradient over here, you can see that effect in real time happening as I project it. And this is just giving me a randomized color pattern here. So I'm just going to change the colors a little bit there. And again, all I'm doing is I'm experimenting. I'm just changing the angle of the way those colors are represented. I'm just going to move across here. Let's have a look now. So we'll go to special. I'll just make sure that's selected. And as you can see, because I've got my triangle selected, it's only my triangle here that is being affected by the effect in the bottom left corner. So just moving across them, it's like the whole group. And there you can see the whole group is now activated by the effect. And that's simply because I selected group in the left hand column. So I'm just going to play with these fixed widths and these phase offsets, etc. You can have a look at a couple of different effects so you can see them in real time happening. Here we go. And there's some really interesting ones. Um, and I think you'll have your preference. I know I definitely have my preference in terms of the ones that I prefer when I'm projecting and when I'm using. But again, the trick here is to play, experiment, get familiar with the software, get familiar with everything that's going off, um, and then find a system that works for you. So as you can see, I'm just clicking the repeat, unclicking it, just checking in real time. That's what's great about this software. It's real time. So the minute I click, the minute that effect is applied. And that's brilliant because you get all that user feedback straight away. And again, each effect has that ability to connect with music. So I can connect it with the tempo or I can connect it with the bass, etc. So this is great for live events. I'm just going through, trying different options out, checking out, see what I like, see what um, works really well together in terms of effects. So some effects complement, some don't. Okay, guys. See you in the next session.